Copenhax is a student hackathon event. Uh, it's generally 24 hours where people get together and they build whatever they want. Um, and they have a very healthy, productive environment where they can socialize as well as build cool stuff. We really want to encourage students to look at this as an opportunity to really experiment and build things that they wouldn't otherwise be able to do, meet people that they wouldn't otherwise be able to meet, and uh, meet with sponsors and people who can support them throughout their university and uh, afterwards as well. They can come up with any ideas they want, uh, could it in whatever language they want, whatever operating system, we don't care. Uh, so whatever they do, they just have to be creative. Come up with something new, that's it you might see a really creative project that could be the next Snapchat or Instagram or something, or maybe something that will fall apart as they demo and will be fun as well. I mean, it's all about learning and we're not really trying to be competitive about it. It's more about just generally, um, yeah, if you come here and you have a good time and you learn something new, that's enough. I mean, we're trying to build community and that's what's more important here. So our idea is to kind of take uh, pictures of people's faces and see if we can uh, do an outline, maybe make a silhouette of them and then fill it in. So kind of fill in the outlines to kind of form branches to make it look like a tree or maybe a pattern of snakes or kind of basically manipulate an image like that. We'll see where it goes. <laughs> We're working on an Android app where you can like see on a map who else is writing something and you can meet up with people you don't actually know in a very personal way so you know where somebody is, who's drinking your beer and you can join them. We are creating Switch Place Pokemon with a robot instead. So what we basically built is a chatbot that can be personalized to, to encourage to your dietary requirements, um, the preferences such as uh, vegetarian, paleo, or also you could say that you're uh, lactose intolerant or just say that you don't like pork, for instance. Came up with a solution where, or a media hub um, for social media for people with disabilities with uh, problems with seeing. We have a lot of side events that are not even like a coding event. Uh, so we have uh, the Rubik's Cube challenge uh, and the winner will get a prize. Uh, we also have a FIFA competition in our Xbox. Nice to just have a weekend where you can be a geek. I've met loads of new people already. Um, as I'm from Germany, a lot of people from Denmark and other countries as well. And I think this is really international and I love it. I think it's been great. It's uh, really lovely people. We've got some amazing sponsors, really cool prizes, and just like lots of cool tech to play with. I think it's, it's looked like it will be a really fun event. 